We're just one week into the new MLB season, but there has been no shortage of news. From Anthony Rendon getting a four-game suspension, to Alex Verdugo and Alec Manoa having a little off-the-field beef, to Tyler O'Neill getting publicly benched by his manager for not hustling in a game. A lot has gone on in a short period of time, and today we got another headline involving Fernando Tatis Jr. and a pitcher in the minor leagues. Before I get into it, welcome to The War Room, a channel where I discuss all things sports related. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's get straight to it. From 2019 to 2021, Fernando Tatis Jr. was the face of the San Diego Padres. In those three years, he finished top three in the National League Rookie of the Year voting and had two top five finishes for NL MVP. In 2021, he made his first career All-Star game at the age of 22, led the National League in home runs with 42, and put up career best 97 RBIs. At this point, he was one of the most likable young rising stars in the entire league. However, a lot of that changed in 2022, a year that Tatis would like to forget. He had a surgery on a fractured wrist that he got from a motorcycle accident which sidelined him for at least three months to start the season. By the time August came around, Fernando was almost done rehabbing the wrist and was soon going to make his season debut. Instead, he got slammed with an 80-game suspension for violating Major League Baseball's performance-enhancing drug policy and was guaranteed to miss the entire 2022 season. This news absolutely stunned the baseball world. Tatis claimed that he took medicine to treat ringworm, which contained a banned substance that he wasn't aware of. While some people believed this story, most didn't. This is where a lot of fans turned on him, which makes complete sense. He's not a player that you would ever suspect of cheating, and while it was possible that he wasn't aware of the banned substance, he's always going to have this 80-game suspension attached to his name. Tatis also needed shoulder surgery the season prior, but now that he was officially done for the year, he got the surgery in September of 2022 and used the entire offseason to recover. He's eligible to make his 2023 debut for the Padres on April 20th, while in the meantime, he's taking advantage of the 15-game rehab assignment he was given in the minor leagues. It's not uncommon at all to see an MLB star play against minor leaguers. Usually, it's guys coming back from injury that are trying to ramp back up, but in this case, it's a mix of the rehab from the wrist and shoulder plus the suspension. Fernando is currently in AAA for the El Paso Chihuahuas, the minor league affiliate of San Diego, while in last night's game he hit a home run to left field off San Francisco Giants minor leaguer Caden McClure. Darnay Tripp, a San Diego sports anchor, tweeted a video of this home run saying, quote, Cade McCurr will be telling people for years about the time he gave up an absolute nuke to Fernando Tatis Jr. McClure saw this tweet and decided to defend himself, saying a cheater hits a home run on a rehab assignment during a steroid suspension. One thing about this tweet is it is true, so you can't really get too mad at what McClure is actually saying. However, to imply that Tatis only hit this home run because he took steroids is kind of silly. Clearly, he's not on steroids now as this game is being played, Plus, you literally threw a meatball right down the middle of the plate. Doesn't matter which major leaguer you're facing, most guys are going to do exactly what he did to that pitch. Also, I'll always respect minor leaguers for the grind they have to go through to get to the majors. Whether you're in low A ball or triple A, it's a lot of hard work to even say that you're in an MLB team's farm system. But if we're being fair here, it's not like McClure is lighting up the minor leagues, dominating everyone, and it just so happens that the one home run he lets up is to a solidified MLB star. His minor league record is 16-18 and 18 with a 4.07 ERA. That's not to say he never gets to the majors, in fact he probably will at some point, he's gotten this far at age 27, but at the same time, not every batter you're facing in the minor leagues is a former steroid using MLB player on a rehab assignment. Him pitching versus Tatis isn't a battle people would expect him to win anyway, so you just look like a baby when you give this excuse. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm going to be uploading MLB videos like this all season, so subscribe if you want to see more like this. Like the video if you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.